ChatGPT is about to get so much more efficient with the introduction of GPT Bot, and we might be about to enter the age of artificial general intelligence, or AGI, sooner than we think, as revealed by the recent step OpenAI took on ChatGPT 5. This and more will be the focus of this video, so sit tight and enjoy the ride. GPT-Bot is a web crawler developed by OpenAI, which has the sole purpose of sourcing information to help models like the ChatGPT4 to generate more accurate content for users. We all know that one thing that made Google Bard stand out over ChatGPT initially was access to information on the internet. So OpenAI has created this chatbot to browse through the internet and collect text data from various web pages to help optimize generated responses. This update certainly won't be available for the ChatGPT 3.5, and so we expect to have this only in Model 4 and now possibly ChatGPT 5. This addition will play a critical role in enhancing the performance and capabilities of OpenAI's advanced language models. This period of optimization is really getting more interesting, and I have no doubt that we'll be having a lot more interesting platforms to work with soon. Now, you might be wondering how exactly the GPT bot works, right? GPT bot has been described as a privacy aware crawler that scrupulously filters out data sources that violate the privacy of individuals on the internet and other policies. People have been worried about what will become of user privacy in this age of AI, since we have a very large amount of private data all over the internet, which can be really detrimental if access isn't regulated. Well, the GPT bot has been designed to reorganize and avoid sites with personal data. This goes to include any website that requires user login before granting access. A development like this will definitely see a wider acceptance of AI-powered systems in carrying out official duties, as there have been reservations on how protected privileged information can be from these platforms. They'll basically be allowed to view what you want them to, as the power to control access even extends to website owners. If you own a website, you can choose to restrict or limit GPT bot access. And I've identified two ways that you can effectively block the GPT bot from accessing a website. The first is through the robots.txt file, and the second is by using a firewall. A robot.txt file is basically a text file that tells search engine crawlers and bots which parts of your website they're allowed to access or whole websites that they can't have access to. To apply the command that will block the GPT bot, you'll have to add the disallow forward slash to your robots.txt file, and this should be able to stop the bot from accessing the site content. And if you'll prefer to use a firewall, you'll have to add the IP address range for GPT bot. Firewalls are software programs that control incoming and outgoing network traffic. You can use a firewall to block specific IP addresses or ranges of IP addresses. To block the GPT bot, you can find the IP address range for the GPT bot and add it to your firewall's blacklist. The IP address range for the GPT bot is constantly changing, so you may need to update your firewall's blacklist periodically for it to continue protecting the site. This option for blocking off GPT bot entirely has been put in place because although the GPT bot has been made to avoid sites with personal details, it still might not be able to sort through entirely. This might not be exactly a major issue now, as the program is still very much under development and so still subject to changes that will help make it a lot more efficient. The method you choose to block off GPT bot will depend on your specific needs and preferences. If you only want to block the GPT bot from accessing your website, then using a robots.txt file is a simple and effective solution. However, if you want to block other bots or restrict access to your website in other ways, then using a firewall is a more powerful option. It's important to note that blocking the GPT bot may also block other bots that are used for legitimate purposes, such as web crawlers used by search engines. If you're not sure whether you should block the GPT bot, you should consult with a security expert before moving forward with any plan. Also, you have the option of granting partial access to the bot. According to the details on the website, custom access can be done by typing GPT bot allow forward slash directory dash one forward slash disallow forward slash directory dash two forward slash in the directory 
and this will automatically set custom access to your website. Despite the possible shortcomings, there's still some obvious benefits to the GPT-Bot. GPT-Bot is currently still under development. When you visit the OpenAI website, you'll be able to see more details on this. For any LLM out there, having a huge repository of information like the internet is very necessary for overall efficiency and accuracy. And this is what the users will be getting with the integration of GPT-Bot. It can help to improve the accuracy and performance of language models. Also, there's an obvious advantage of heightened privacy with this integration. It can help to make language models more privacy aware, thereby making the internet a lot more secure for user information. As for the limitations, we all know that when this is released, it will definitely not start functioning optimally. But with machine learning, its capabilities are expected to increase a whole lot more over time. Overall, GPT-Bot is a promising tool that can help to improve the performance and capabilities of language models. However, it's important to be aware of its limitations before using it. Again, although with no official announcements from OpenAI itself yet, it seems that the ChatGPT-5 is upon us. This was made known by the patent application that OpenAI submitted for that version of ChatGPT, seeking to get rights and certain features. This was made public by trademark attorney Josh Gerben, who shared the news on Twitter on July 31st. And according to the content of that patent, this might just be our step into artificial general intelligence. We'll be talking about these features soon. It really seems OpenAI won't ever come forward immediately to state some things explicitly by themselves because we saw the same approach with the current version of ChatGPT, where they didn't just come out and agree that the model will be out. It might just be that they still have some tests to run. Sam Altman did mention in the past that it took six months for them to release ChatGPT4 after making it because they needed to be sure that it was safe enough to be released. So ChatGPT5 might already be available in-house or they're still making plans to start the building process. Talking about AGI, this patent application submitted for ChatGPT5 doesn't explicitly mention AGI. However, it does include some features that could potentially bring the model closer to AGI. And for clarity, the age of AGI is when AI is able to perform any task with the same cognitive process as humans and even better. One such feature is the use of a hierarchical language model. This means that the model is able to learn and understand different levels of language from words and phrases to sentences and paragraphs. This could allow the model to generate more complex and nuanced responses, taking into consideration several elements to find the best response. Another feature is the availability of a multimodal learning approach. This means that the model is able to learn from data from multiple sources such as text, audio, and images. Already, ChatGPT4 can work with image prompts to a level, but this is set to be a whole lot broader and more efficient. This could allow the model to better understand the context of a conversation and generate more realistic and engaging responses. Microsoft is already doing something really close to this with Rumi, and I have a whole video on this that you can check out later. The link will be in the description. What you'll see with Rumi is an AI that's able to take cues from your facial expressions and body movements to optimize its responses. Just really crazy stuff. Finally, the patent application mentions the use of a reinforcement learning algorithm. This has been a method that has been adopted in the training of some other AI models. It's basically a type of machine learning algorithm that allows the model to learn by trial and error, just like a human would. This could allow the model to improve its performance over time and become more autonomous without much human involvement to aid that transition. At this point, I'd like us to take note that the projection of AGI in ChatGPT5 is purely on prediction at the moment, no statement from the company yet. Overall, the features mentioned in the patent application suggest that ChatGPT5 could be a significant improvement over previous language models. Despite that, it's still too early to say for sure whether the model will be capable of AGI. More research and development is needed to determine the full potential of ChatGPT-5 and we await official statements from OpenAI on this matter. There are some other little details in this application. The application describes ChatGPT-5 as a downloadable computer software for using language models. 
This suggests that it will be a software application that allows users to interact with a large language model similar to the current versions of ChatGPT. Whether OpenAI will make this able to run on smaller devices and offline remains to be seen. Whatever the case, it's expected to be very innovative. However, it is possible that OpenAI will make changes to the design of ChatGPT5 before it's released. They have said they're committed to safe and responsible AI, so it's possible that they will make changes to the model to reduce the risk of harmful or misleading outputs. Until more information is released, that'll be all on this video and I'll bring the updates to you as they come.